the marriage stipulated but can a condition be put that he will not look after her or may not give the economic rights to her so as far as islam is concerned marriage is a misaq it's a sacred covenant and any contract can be done as long as it is within the purview of the islamic sharia she cannot ask something to be done which is haram and she cannot say she will not do something which is farz for example she cannot tell the husband that you should have alcohol we having alcohol is haram She can't say that you don't offer salah, offering salah is fard. Husband can't tell to the wife that don't wear hijab, or wearing hijab is fard. The husband can't tell the wife that you have alcohol, having alcohol is haram. So you cannot force the husband and wife and wife to husband. The spouse cannot force each other to do anything which is haram, and cannot prevent them from doing anything which is fard. Anything else is permissible in the Muba category. Now, as far as the economic rights are concerned, it is the duty. of the husband to look after the wife it's the duty she can say that fine even if you give me 10 rupees a month no problem it's difficult i know or give me 5000 a month because there is no fixed rule that a husband should give 1000 a month or 100000 a month or 1 million a month but it is the duty of the husband to take care of the wife she can put a thing that fine i wouldn't mind even if you give me 1000 rupees a month But she can't put a clause. What is his right? He has to do. She can't put a clause saying that I will free you from everything else. Fine. What do you give me? I'll take. That she can say. He can't put a clause. I'll give you mayor. Then I won't give you a single rupee. No. You can say that you know I'm involved in so and so thing. If you think you want to marry a rich husband, I don't want to spend my time earning money. I want to start doing dawa. So that way you can put some clause. But anything which is a fard, you can't let that go. Anything which is haram, you can't force to do. So you have to first check up what is fard and what is haram. But naturally, taking care of the wife is a fard. So you can't relieve that. And so, okay, fine, I'll marry you, but I want to sex with you. What I've realized that what is a requirement, the fard should be done. You cannot force anyone from not doing the fard. Hope that answers the question. But the mere amount can become because small. That depends upon the husband and wife. What be husband and wife? Yes, brother. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. Dr. Mukhtar. Yeah, my question is: uh, We, as uh, Indian Muslims, once the nikah is done, and uh, we register the nikah in the court, can we do a court marriage after that in the court? And uh, in case that is allowed, do we restrict ourselves or do we cancel ourselves from the Islamic rights and privileges of marriage? I was asked a question that we, as Indian Muslims, after the nikah, we register marriage in court. No one registered the marriage in court. Few people do. We register a marriage not in court. We register a marriage saying that we are husband and wife. When we do nikah, we register a marriage that we have done nikah. Now this boy and this girl are husband and wife. Not in court. Court marriage is a different aspect altogether. I know there are few some of the uneducated Muslims. Uneducated means not in knowledge, not the the formal education, Islamic knowledge. There are some people who do go in the court and do court marriage. There's a difference between court marriage. And registration. When you do nikah and you register a marriage, you are informing the government 
that this boy and this girl, the official husband wife, and the Indian government accepts it. Court marriage means what? Court marriage is a marriage that is done that any problem takes place, the Indian penal code will apply. The law of the government, India being a democratic country, for we realize that Indian government gives permission for every citizen to follow the religion he or she wants. So if you marry according to the Islamic law, the Muslim personal law will apply. If you marry according to the Hindu custom, Hindu law will apply. There is another thing known as the Indian law. So if you do a court marriage, then the Indian law will prevail. Whether you have done nikah or not, the Muslim law will not be applicable. The Indian law will be applicable. Indian law means the law of the government says that if you do a court marriage, that means you may do nikah, you may do a church marriage or a Hindu marriage. That law gets nullified and the rules and regulations, what is mentioned in the Indian Penal Code, would apply. Normal Indian Penal Code says that if you do religious marriage, that's fine. But the moment you do court marriage, court marriage supersedes that. I know there are some ignorant Muslims, especially when they have love marriages, you know. So, naam ke liye Muslim mana dete, ladki ho gaya, ladka ladki ho banati hai. So, wo nikah bika naam ke liye karte hai. But opposite party, they want to court marriage. They want to court marriage, nikah to ho gaya, they want to court marriage. According to me, the most of the scholars haven't said this. According to me, it is kufr. Kufr means, kufr means, you're rejecting Islam. You're doing nikah, and then you court marriage saying that the Indian law is superior to the Quran. I haven't heard any scholars saying that, but according to me, it becomes kufr. Kufr, why? That means we are agreeing. We love our country. We respect our country. We follow the law of the country. Right? But the law of Allah is superior. And when the law of country is giving you permission to follow Allah's law, you're rejecting Allah's law, it's kufr. It's kufr. Nobody is forcing you. If someone forces put a gun on your head and then you say, okay, fine, you do shirk, Quran gives you permission. That dil mein iman hai. Ligin, openly just for appearance, if you are doing shirk, if your life is in danger, Allah gives you permission. But dear, who's putting you in danger? You fall in love with a non-Muslim, and then you do plastic surgery, naam gile musala mara, then do court marriage. So according to me, court marriage is haram for a Muslim in India. That means you are giving up all your rights as a Muslim. Any problem takes place, the other law, the neutral law of the country will apply, not the Muslim personal law. If you're in America where there's no Muslim personal law, that's a different situation. There also you register, that's a different thing. There you follow Islam, problem come, they will follow the law of the country. There you have no option of Muslim personal law there, in America. So India is far superior. In America they say democratic, democratic. India is far superior, mashallah. It's namesake. It doesn't hurt them, it is freedom of speech. It hurts them, it's not allowed. So one thing is the practical freedom of speech and democracy, and one is theoretical. So most of the Western countries, it's theoretical, it's not practical. India, mashallah, is one of the good countries where you have practical, mashallah, you can follow your law, you can preach your religion, you can practice your religion, you can propagate your religion. But here, the country gives you a choice. Now you out of the way go and say, I want to reject Islamic law and follow the country's law. The country is giving you permission to follow Islamic law, so it becomes kufra according to me. Yes, you do nikah, you can register it. Saying that, I am informing the government that this boy and girl, the husband and wife, it's perfectly fine. Hope that's